here's my 1998 Ford 16-foot box van. It's got the 7.3 liter Ford diesel power stroke motor. Uh, a little bit of history behind why I got this is I do a fair amount of moto camping and I'm getting a little long in the tooth to be sleeping in tents and sleeping on the ground looking for a little bit of the glamping experience. backup camera there and also a camera to view inside the bed area the box area little 12 volt light I added here's a real simple center council that I made out of a milk crate and a piece of plywood Pretty thrifty guy by nature. Sometimes that thrifty side battles the OCD side, so it causes some frustration. But generally speaking, this build's been fun. Besides the single under hood battery, this box van comes with a secondary battery, as do most 7.3 liter Fords. This one also is likely there because it helps to power the rear lift gate. So here's the rear lift gate. It's got some modifications done to it so that a motorcycle can mount on the back. There's the interior switch to raise and lower it. There's also an exterior switch on the back right side. Uh, plenty of power for lifting my heavy motorcycles. I have a Yamaha Super Tenere and also have a Harley Fat Boy. It's got the rear roll up door, which not a great thing for this kind of a this kind of a project, but you know I wasn't gonna spend all that money to modify that rear door. And I added that curtain just for warmer days for some privacy rather than rolling the doors down you can just slide that curtain across works pretty well okay so stepping inside here i just recently put this pull out couch bought it from a guy on craigslist for 50 bucks who does similar things to me a little diy guy for rvs you can see i've got it to where i can store i believe it's eight milk crates which gives me plenty of storage for just about anything you can think of and of course that does lay flat into a bed and i'll demonstrate that here in a minute so the walls and the ceiling are insulated there is no insulation between the cab and the bed area that plywood about three quarters of an inch plywood for heating I use this big buddy heater with the door rolled down. It's plenty powerful enough. Move, moving on to the kitchen here. Got a little two burner stove running off of propane. Mini fridge running off of electricity. Microwave. I recently upgraded to this sink. I had a much smaller sink in here and was not happy with it. I haven't used this yet, but I think it's gonna take care of all my concerns.
fancy here. large ice chest more storage area put that light right above the bed obviously for reading and being able to see in the middle of the night if you want to get into the bathroom a little shelf use a CPAP machine and a little carbon monoxide detector I also carry this Predator 2000 watt generator. Most of your heavy duty appliances are 1500 watts max. So as long as you're using them by themselves, this is plenty of power. Little meter here on the wall that gives the battery voltage readout. A couple USB plugs as well. Got a motorcycle battery tender plugged in from the AC side into the battery of the vehicle. So whenever the vehicle's plugged in, I'm recharging the, the vehicle's batteries. One of the things I like best is just the roominess of it. Kind of worked hard to keep it that way. I know there are a lot of vehicles out there, especially people that are living in their vans where they're using every square foot, which I totally understand and respect, but I'm a big guy, I like my space. I will probably end up with a 32 inch or a 24 inch TV along this wall. Something I can watch across from the couch where I'm sitting right now. Just haven't got there yet. I don't have it inside the rig right now, but that vent is designed for my portable air conditioner to be able to park right up against it and vent outside. It works pretty well. Not the greatest location because you have to move it if you want to get in and out of the rear door. But the other alternative was punching a hole into the side of the rig. And again, I worked real hard to try to keep it as stock box van looking as possible so it can be stealthily parked anywhere. And here's the view of that same vent from the outside. I don't think that would catch anybody's attention. I guess I sort of brushed over the fact that it is a toy hauler. Uh, the whole purpose of this thing was to be able to haul two motorcycles. So uh, rather than load them up, I just put the wheel chalk in there so people will get it. Obviously, that's one place. And the second place would be, of course, back here on this rear gate. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. If you have any questions, throw them out there. I'm happy to answer them for you. My main reason for doing this was kind of giving back because I'm pretty grateful for all the videos that are out there on YouTube now where people have done a lot of converting and uh, it's real motivational helpful and I'm hoping this will be the same for other people take it easy oh yeah I know someone's gonna ask about a toilet so there you go